trying to get some reading done this morning, which sometimes is harder than other mornings. Am I kidding? <laughs> it's difficult most mornings because the children hit the ground running. This is what my children look like in the morning. Let me see that. <laughs> I'm uh, enjoying a nice brisk walk this morning. I'm not able to always take a walk in the morning, but it's something I try to do every morning. I'm actually trying to start running again, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stick with walking for now. I realize that uh, when you guys see this, that it'll be 2021 while you're watching this. For me, this is the, nearing the end of, of 2020 here a couple weeks. I know for a lot of people, if not most people, 2020 has been a rather at least unusual year and at worst a really bad year. It's just been a lot of changes and a lot of unusualness, weirdness of trying to work through different things and, and changing how we do life and how we process things and interact with people. Meanwhile, a lot of personal things have been going on. Maybe a lot of things changing for me, a lot of things changing for our family. Um, things that are really exciting. So while, yeah, it's been true that 2020 has brought a lot of changes and different things into our lives, um, I know that for me and our family that 2021, uh, there's a lot of big changes coming our way. Um, things I'm excited about things I'm excited to share. Now I realize, once again, you guys are already in 2021, and uh, that means there could be episodes coming up soon that could bring some answers or insight into what this cryptic thing is that I'm telling you, but I don't mean to be cryptic, I just don't necessarily know what, <laughs> what things exactly look like at the time that I'm taking this brisk December walk. <sighs> Honestly, it's kinda nice. Just wanted to share some of the quotes from the book that I was reading this morning. More damage is done to the well-being of individuals and of the whole body of Christ by the tongue than any other member of our body. When our tongues let us down, it is because we have not first watched over our hearts and thoughts. Busyness with the concerns of God's people must not be an excuse for neglecting our neighbor. We are to love the difficult and the unattractive. They are the ones whom we should be w inviting into our homes and into whose homes we should gladly go when asked. We are to love those who oppose us, not viewing them as enemies, but as friends, to be won over by love. I'm leaving you with that. Have a good day. God bless.